Hey travelers, another week, another vlog, and another new face. So we got Vicky with us. You've probably seen her a time or two before. And uh, we have I only sour... show up for the sour episodes. Well, right. Yeah, sour episodes. Uh, we'll move on to those beers later, but uh, we've got a we've got a pizza cooking. Woo. And of course, it's another mm. pepsi another. pizza. Oh, uh, another tasty, th this, tasty pizza. This week, it's uh, five meat mash. So uh, all of the meats. All and of it, the meats. All of the meats. Don't listen to Arby's. We and have it, the meats right we here. We have the meats right here, and it looks beautiful. <laughs> and all that bubbling cheese, it bubbling looks fantastic. Cheese, it looks like there's bacon and sausage. And, and of course, we're oh. cooking it on the pizzazz again, because yeah. best way to cook a Pepsi Yay, presto. Pizza. <laughs> cook it from the top and the bottom, and mm -hmm. perfect. Oh, it's wonderful. Uh, we'll start this week off. Uh, of course, you probably know about our bus trip. It's April coming 13th. up on April 13th. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt. Yeah. No. Just go right ahead. Yeah. You know what? <laughs> if you've got something to add in, just throw it in wherever you feel. No, just wanted to contribute. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I don't contribute enough to this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah, heading over back to the cities, Uda Pills and Boom Island and Finnegan's and uh, Ladonia Cerveceria. Again, Say glad that, that you five said times that. fast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't pronounce it. I, I don't know any Spanish, but I can pronounce that. Uh, so, yeah, some great new breweries that we're going to. Um, we've been to Boom Island before, but I don't think since the first bus trip that we were on. No. So you and I went back about half a year ago, maybe? Right, yeah. right. But as far as like a bus trip and taking a, lar a large group of people. Right, no. Yeah, we haven't been over there since. So. <laughs> that was a fun trip. That was a fun trip. <laughs> uh, and that's why we only go to four now. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so yeah, uh, you can find all of the information for the bus trip uh, below, and you can get those tickets right there. Um, so yeah, sign up, get those, uh, and then we'll, uh, of course, give away a hot passport or two. Don't drink Maybe without three. your passport. Don't drink without a passport. Uh, so this is the Wisconsin one. We'll give a couple of those away, and we'll also give a Minnesota one away. So if you come on the bus trip... Thank you, Vanna. Yes, you're very welcome. <laughs> Finnegan's is in that hot passport, and you can get two-for-one beers while you're Ooh. on the bus. What a deal. And if you don't win, if you think, you know what, I'm not really all that lucky, and that's <laughs> kind of how I usually feel, um, just order your hot passport before you go. And uh, if you want to save $5, you can type in the promo code TAPROOMTRAVELERS when you check out and save 5 bucks. It's the greatest thing ever. Right. Don't drink without it. No. Nope. Best deal ever. Yeah, and that and that code works for all of the states. So, you want <laughs> all buy of the states? All of the states that hot passport is in, okay. you can buy. So not all fifty. Not all fifty. <laughs> okay. that'd be great though. Yeah, it's about like eight states. Well, I want to say it might be, yeah, eight or ten. Yeah, and some of them are a combination of states. Cool. Cool. So, there's Iowa, and I think Iowa's combined with one, and then uh, Minnesota, Wisconsin. I know Arizona's in there. California has got one. Uh, Washington. Yep. Oregon, I think. Yeah, it's quite a few. Oregon needs like five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so anyway, we've got all of that going on. Plus, Eric, one of the guys that subscribes to our YouTube channel, which, by the way, subscribe to our YouTube channel if you already haven't. Hit that stupid fucking bell, too. Yes. And uh, <laughs> that we should get a dinger for every... You're about as bad as Troy when uh, you swear on these things. <laughs> um, two for two. Eric sent us some beer and so there was a it's probably been maybe a month or so ago maybe a little more that we had some sour beers on here and we were talking about sour style beers and how they're always really low abv <laughs> and it, typically the ones yeah. that we get around here are you know three four percent and something like that everybody's going after the berliner vice style right mm. and so eric chimed in and said hey there are some beers in cincinnati that i can get my hands on and uh they're higher, seven percent, eight percent, something like that. Um, so he said the uh, the ones that he got from. Let me see here if I can read. You can read. Yeah, Urban oh. Ar Artifact, which we have two of those. Yep. So he said uh, some of those come in at seven percent. Um, the first Just one by Vanna's now. Yeah, right. <laughs> the first one we're gonna try is not from Urban Artifact. Eric also sent this one. Uh, it's called Batch Number. 029 so batch 29 it's a cherry limeade sour Ooh, yeah i'll pass that one over now to that's you. a it's All a right. it's lower 4.8 percent but hold your mic i 
it sounded too good not to have. So, and we'll we'll probably have another vlog or two. Eric sent us more beers than we probably deserve. So hmm. we'll we'll have another uh, sour vlog one of these times. So thank you very much, Eric. We appreciate uh, you sending those to us. Um, so this one's actually from Nowhere in Particular Promiscuous Ale Project. Say that five times fast. Um, thank you. And it's got a nice cherry color to it. Nice cherry nose, too. Yes. can smell it all the way up here. Ooh. Ooh. And it does smell like lemonade. It mm -hmm. does. Ooh, and the pizza. Look at that pizza's now. pizza's pretty much done. A couple, couple minutes later, and there it is. And it's looking beautiful. This is amazing. And this beer, awesome. Yeah. I'm a fan so, of this. Thanks, thanks, Eric. Uh, and we'll probably end up thanking you like five or six times more because right. this is amazing. Thank you. As good as that uh, peach rev uh, peach beer from Revolution <clears throat> that you had last time you were on the vlog, Vicky. Mm -hmm. This is better. This is really yeah, really this good. Is out. Nothing against <laughs> Revolution, a but cherry, this is better. Cherry lime aid is cherry lime aid, and it's a one off brew. It looks like from yeah. the can. Which there is, goes the pizza. Which is a little sad for me because I would totally go pick up some more of that. I don't know how long ago it was brewed, if it's still available. Yeah. Stuff that's not available here in Wisconsin, um, but that is amazing. I would go over to Ohio just to get some more of that. I really like the can art on this, too. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, the skull. It almost reminds me of... Um, did you ever have that book when you were a kid that was like... Uh, scary stories for kids and there was that skull on it it was a black book goosebumps no <laughs> don't think i had that particular no. one well you you're probably too young andy probably. um we're about the same <laughs> this, age, yeah this was right? in the 90s i think i still have the book somewhere I, it just I popped in the up. 80s yeah barely barely <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> it was a couple months later and it was 1990 correct yeah uh so anyway it, that's that's what it reminded me of but Excellent, excellent beer. Yeah, particularly if, with the books over behind him. Oh, no, those are not books. It looked like books from a, the angle. Yeah. It kind of reminds me of a dark where the sidewalk ends. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So I checked this on Untap, and it, and it appears that uh, Georgia must get this beer because my cousin who lives in Atlanta already checked it in. So. Oh, well. Atlanta gets everything, yeah. you know. You don't claim first. Right. <laughs> <laughs> first to your friends. Uh, so we'll, we'll move on and now we'll get into the urban artifact. So looking forward to these. Ooh. Oh, look, we have pizza. So now we've got the, uh, the urban artifact. This is uh blueberry, oh, cool blueberry Midwest fruit tart, right? I love the cup. Oh, that's fine. I was just looking at the pizza. And, uh, I think it's called whirly gig. Yes. Is that correct? So this, this has got a really maroon type color on it it looks it mm -hmm. looks delicious though but yeah. um what, what do we got for uh, it smells like raspberries eight percent alcohol <laughs> yeah nice so eric wasn't lying when he said that he can get us some sours <laughs> oh wow Ooh. it almost smells like blueberry pie on the nose mm -hmm. it tastes more blueberry than than the raspberry that I was expecting. That is yeah. really, really good. It smells like raspberries. It does, yeah. but it tastes more like blueberries. Which... And the snazberries still taste like snazberries. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and it doesn't taste like 8%. Not I mean, not, not right away. No. It As my fiance would say, this is juice. <laughs> but delicious juice. <laughs> so very delicious. Mm. Oh, another excellent beer. Urban Artifact. If I, if I could find these around here, I would... Yeah. I like the can art on this one too. The looks kind of like the Da Vinci flying machine. Yeah, yep. yeah. <clears throat> Which wasn't that called whirly gig? Probably. It's it, a Middle English term for a spinning contraption. Okay. Yeah. Unlike the whirly durly. Un unlike the whirly durly. <laughs> <laughs> Those Rick and Morty fans out there. The whirly gig just that just reminds me of the Futurama episode where they went back and. <laughs> Da Vinci was an yeah, idiot. Yeah, the Da Vinci was an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> For Futurama fans, I don't know if anybody watches Futurama out there, but I would hope so. I've exposed <laughs> my kids to it. <laughs> good or bad. Um mm -hmm. yeah. Very good. Oh. Superb beer. And for eight percent. 
Does not taste like it. No, not at all. And so this this last one, uh, you better save some of that for some of the women. <laughs> no, I know. They'll, they will have you. I know. I am giving that to Good you. job. Yep. Good job, Andy. <laughs> Someone um, off camera wanted one. So. Yeah. <laughs> this last one's actually a Goza, okay. but it's Key Lime. Ooh. And I love Key Lime. <laughs> really? I didn't yes. know that. Yes. I am a big, big fan of Key Lime. But this is a this is a hazy lime, and it's it's not it's probably not as hazy as it it claims to be. It says hazy, but yeah, pour it in the big guy. What do you think of that one, Vicky? I was expecting hazier based on your based on reading the can earlier. And yeah, it's I mean you can't see through it, but that is true. And we don't know how old these cans are either. True. But. Ooh. It's got a nice nose. Very. Very much so the lime on the nose. Ooh. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> that tastes like key lime pie. It does. It does. With a, because it's a goza, it's got that salty mm-hmm. um, finish on it. But not brackish. No, not brackish, but salty. A little salty. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> a hint of salt. Would you like some, Robin? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes, have some. My turn eating some pizza. There you go. And there again, the can art, which we talk about can art quite a bit uh, on this show because we don't always have that much to talk about. And <laughs> and we're actually entertained by <laughs> the most mundane things anyway. Well, you are, but... Yeah. Well, that's why we don't have you on all that often, Andy. <laughs> that's fair. Uh, and... So it's got it's just got a lady, um, you know, messing with limes and stuff, and she's in a lime dress. But we talk about this all the time too, especially when Troy is here. Drink fresh. We do not recommend cellaring this beer. So goes as in general. Yeah. That's probably That'll not a fall very apart pretty quickly. Yeah, not a very good yeah. idea to uh, to let that sit for mm-hmm. a while. And all of these cans actually have drink fresh on there, yeah. so it's nice that um, sours are a lot like IPAs that way; they fall off very quickly. You know, and I've and I've heard some people uh, cellaring IPAs, and I wonder what the heck are you doing that for? Unless that it's, just seems like a waste. Yeah. Unless it's one twenty yeah. minute, where the ABV is going to counteract th- that. Sure, but don't, that's don't. not. No. I mean, that's a once. Right. That's. I mean, one twenty minute is like eighteen dollars a four pack. So. Right. Probably not going to buy it anyway. Right. But. <laughs> <laughs> you should at least try it. It's. I, I've had it. Yeah. Yeah. I've had it and then went, yep, that was an IPA. <laughs> but I think I spent 7 or $8 for the glass on it. And, yeah. And then, uh, and then I went home and I cried. Oh. A little bit. I'm sorry. That's no, okay. I didn't, no, know. It's, it I didn't know you were that emotionally it invested a, into it. I am. I'm emotionally invested into beer in general. <laughs> that was obvious. You know, yes. Obviously, <laughs> the uh, tin signs and what have you. you you're never, you'll never see the rest of my house, but there's also beer stuff all around here. So what? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I own all of these glasses. Even yeah. <laughs> I had a little known fact. I had a little. Uh, you know how people have a gambling habit. I had a habit of going to breweries and just buying a, a glass every time I mm-hmm. went to a brewery. Sure. Well, I've I've been to a hundred and some breweries. Yeah. So. You know, I think trans- we've translate, all translate that in a glassware. Right. I think we've all glassware. started at least that way, where you go to a new place and you're like, "Oh, I gotta buy a glass," or "You gotta yeah. buy something" because yeah. you gotta you want to remember that experience, take it home with you. Well, but- it, it actually ended up working out in the end because um, my kids have broken a lot of our glasses. <laughs> sure. So uh, now beer glasses are uh, are glassware in our <laughs> house. So um, it's it's worked out. I don't I don't know what uh, visiting. You know, when we have family members and that kind of thing over when people come to visit and they're drinking out of a beer glass, eh. they don't say anything. They know but, where they were uh, coming. Yeah. If well. they know you, they should be <laughs> accustomed to it. But like, oh, well, Landon, of course, he's got beer glasses around here. <laughs> One of my yep. favorite bars when I was out in Boston, it's actually in Cambridge, Mead Hall. Ooh. And, uh, they had over 100 taps and not 100%, but I'd say at least 90, 95% of what they had, they would have... The brewery specific glass for that beer. Wow. For every that's tap. Impressive. Or nearly every tap. Wow. Yeah. That's impressive and that just seems like a lot of logistics to it balance. It really <laughs> was. <laughs> it was it was pretty impressive to watch. Yeah. 
Bartenders well, must go to night school just to learn it. <laughs> Especially when they go, now what did you order again? Now who's that by? Okay, I, it's going to take me a while to find that they, glass. They I'll kept be back. it basically <laughs> under the tap for yeah. each. Oh, uh, oh tap, well, that makes like sense. That. Yeah. That makes sense too. Yeah. But that's a lot of taps and a, gl- a lot of glasses. It, it really is. Wow. Yeah. Too Good on dishes. them. Yeah. Good on them. Yeah, I, I went to uh, a, a place in Hawaii that had 110 taps. They did not do that. <laughs> Uh, more expensive to ship glassware to Hawaii. Yes. Yeah. Uh, everything's expensive in Hawaii. Mm-hmm. Uh, for those of you that have been there, you all know that. But uh, a fabulous place to go, obviously. Uh, what do you think of the pizza? Amazing. Delicious. Yeah. yeah. I haven't had much of it because I don't shut up. There's ham on this. Ham? Or Canadian bacon, if you want to go that route. Hmm. Yes. I'll say shout out to my favorite Peps pizza is the five cheese. That and you know what? One. You can add whatever you want to it then. Mm-hmm. And I then you get five artichoke. cheeses on top of it. I usually add artichoke. Mm. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Our house, it would probably be mushrooms. Also a good thing. Yep. Yeah. You can add pineapple, which... Are you a non-pineapple pizza? No, I, I am a I am a pro pineapple okay. pizza. Me too, and yeah. I don't understand the hate. I don't either. Yeah. Yeah. Just comment below. Yeah. <laughs> comment below. We're starting a flame war. Let's do it. <clears throat> do you hate pineapple on your pizza? And if you do, defend it. Yeah. <laughs> defend defend why your you, choice. Defend why you hate it. What's the big deal? I mean, it's just if, another topping. If you like pineapple, you don't have to defend anything. We understand. We, we get because it. Because it's delicious. Mm-hmm. But so you can <laughs> argue back against the commenters who hate it. and Yeah. 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 Play more. Yeah. Yeah. yeah more. Start a start a war. We've never had that on YouTube. So why not now? Not on our channel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not on our channel. Every other channel. We like to watch those channels too. <laughs> Uh, anyway, so that's uh, that's kind of wraps it up for us this week. Mm-hmm. Uh, pizza, beer, some really, really great beer. And thank you again, Eric. Can't thank you enough. Thank you. Uh, we'll have some more beer from him in, a, in the coming weeks. I probably won't be on that episode. Andy will not be on that episode. Unless unless we uh, call him in again. You well, never there's know. that, but I won't be able to drink the beer then. Yeah, well, we'll just tell oh, you about lost. it. You're oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> We'll drink some for you. That's what you get for moving away. I know. Anyway, subscribe to uh, our channel here. Uh, find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and all that other good stuff. Bang that stupid bell. That's right. Ping that su- stupid bell. Not mm-hmm. just the stupid bell. We're not going to swear anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Until Troy comes back next week. <laughs> so uh, from all of us at Taproom Travelers, we'll see you next week. Cheers. Post. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, you can click down below where there's some more episodes for you to watch. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on episodes that you do watch. We hope to see you next time.